Kate Middleton will soon be Meghan Markle's mentor and confidant as actress prepares for life as a royal. First there's tea with the Queen, now Meghan Markle needs to navigate the next big steps before becoming a member of the royal family, assuming, of course, that she and Prince Harry will soon be engaged. Her assumed future sister-in-law Kate Middleton will now become Meghan Markle's mentor and confidant. Why is this important for the Suits actress and what will she, a trained Hollywood actress, need to learn in order to play the biggest role of her life? Hello magazine has reported that Duchess Kate is set to become Meghan Markle's mentor, just as Sophie, Countess of Wessex had been case before her marriage to Prince William, seven years ago. This mentorship prepared commoner Kate Middleton to transform into Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. Just as Sophie had coached Kate, Kate will do the very same for Meghan. As Prince Harry lives right around the corner from his brother and family, this will be especially convenient for the Duchess of Cambridge, who is pregnant with their third child and has been experiencing severe morning sickness. What will the Suits actress need to learn in order to be part of the royal family? Despite Markle's graceful poise, she will still need to fine-tune her mannerisms in order to adhere to royal stands. Clearly, the American actress can speak in front of a distinguished audience. In 2015, she delivered an impassioned speech to the United Nations Women on Gender Equality. Yet, to be a member of the royal family, Markle needs to work on small but important mannerisms in order to look, eat and behave as a royal is expected. Just as with Kate Middleton, this is doubly important, as neither woman was born and bred into royalty, so the press and royal insiders could potentially put them under extra scrutiny. People spoke to Beaumont Etiquette founder Mika Mia. An expert on all things etiquette, Mia demonstrated the proper way to sit like a royal, starting with an egg's width of distance between the back and the chair, with the back always straight. Hands must be neatly folded in your lap, and you cannot cross your legs, but are allowed to cross your ankles. Mayor also suggested the Duchess slant, a favourite pose of long-legged Princess Diana and of Kate Middleton. This is slanting the legs to one side, to avoid crossing the legs altogether and for a flattering silhouette. The result will be a picture of absolute elegance. Meghan Markle sat cross-legged next to Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. That may have been the last time that she sat like that in public. Whether she will employ the Duchess slant is yet to be determined. This is not the only lesson that Meghan has to learn. Although it has been reported that Meghan has already taken afternoon tea with the Queen, Meghan will need to learn the proper way to enjoy tea. She will need to learn the proper way of holding her silverware, and she may perhaps decide to avoid eating peas in public as it is not permitted for royals to spear their food. Then there is the royal greeting. Should Markle become a member of the royal family, she will be attending official engagements with swarms of people attending. She will need to learn to make direct eye contact and limit a firm handshake to two pumps, all the while smiling. As an American, Meghan will learn a skill that most back home will never need to acquire. She will need to learn how to properly curtsy the Queen. Although this is usually done in private, this is still expected to be done properly. Then there is the all-important rules of properly exiting and entering a vehicle, as well as elegantly walking down the staircase. Both require a certain sort of grace and elegance, especially as they are movements that are often photographed. Although she looks polished now, Meghan Markle will certainly shine after some intense royal etiquette training by her alleged new confidant and mentor, Kate Middleton. Do you think that Kate Middleton is the best person to help foray Meghan Markle into the royal fray and teach her royal etiquette? If not Duchess Catherine, who would you suggest?